Hello and good evening. Good evening to wherever you are. And most importantly, what is life? What is really life? What is the purpose of life? If you ever come to this thought, that means you haven't paid enough attention to the life itself. The life is what is everywhere. What is throbbing? What is reverberating? Life, in another words, is a dance between time. Life means it's a, an incredible phenomena where we are spending time and the energy. Remember, the time has no control. You and I, none of us has a control. It's taken away. Have you ever thought of keeping your emotions, your thoughts, your psychological drama, your nonsense, all of your other ideas that you glorify in sleep, in dream, and when you wake up and until you go to bed. What is the psychology? Everybody I speak to seems to be studying psychology. Is that means after a pandemic, there's going to be a psychological pandemic? What it seems to be the case that everyone wants to study psychology and sociology and all of the logies. May I just say, in your eyes, everyone is a case. If they don't dance to your tune, if they don't carry on playing your drama, in your eyes, you seems to see them as a case, seems to be seen as a, a medical case. Let me tell you folks, there's sane and insane. There's a fine thin line that every conscious or unconscious Everyone seems to step in, step out. Remember, please don't step too far because the step that you take may never be able to take, retract because it might be too late. Sane and insane is a fine thin line. Don't pass it on to the side that you become a case. In medical terms, that means you're simply a piece of merchandise or a product to be seen, to be used for individuals or individual or for a corporation or for a circle to be able to use you until your last breath. Why put your life, your health in the hands of the other? Why don't you entirely take in charge of your own health, your life, as precious and significant it is, and live it to the full by being recognizing that life is a phenomena Life is a beautiful experience only when you walk the full stride. Instead of running up psychology, psychotherapy, psychophysics, all you wish to call it, whatever you wish to call it, don't create another problem out of a problem that we all face. 
as human beings on this planet. Study about your own self, that this mind and this body simply take instructions from you and it is clear and alert and it is necessary for your survival and for the betterment and the benefit of the others and that you don't become the problem in the solution that we already have. There's only one problem that the world is facing and the world has no reason. Why? Because the world is happening perfectly in order, perfectly in geometrical order, that the night becomes the day, the day becomes the night, the sun goes around, the earth spins, the autumn changes into winter, changes into spring, changes into summer. Whilst we are running around as if we need to fix it, all we need to fix is that this mind and that this body simply take instructions from you and that whatever happens around you, that you don't become a problem. That whatever happens around you is not entirely in your making. No, that you have the, the entire upper hand on what's happening around you. But what's happening within should be entirely your business, entirely in your own hands, entirely in your emotions, entirely in your mind and in your body and in your energies. So why don't you turn, turn that into well-being, health and promote that you are a solution to the problems and to the problem that one or as a collective union is facing. That you do not have to become a multiplying of the problem that is already. If you sincerely wish to solve and help the other, it is not the psychology of textbook stuff that you need to study. It is the psycholo psychology of your own making, of how and how you relate to life and how sensitive are you to life. If you seeing and if you seeing and that you are studying to see, to make money for your lifestyle, and in the other's downfall, please remind yourself that it isn't a nice thing to do. If you are entirely sure that you are studying for others' benefit, that you are not going to make a profit out of others' weaknesses and failures and pain and struggle and suffering and in their problems, I really encourage you to do what you're doing. But if you're seeing yourself to make a profit out of other people's suffering and struggle, may I please ask you to step aside so that people who are there willing to extend their hand, extend their life to raise and promote the well-being of the other, by gently and sincerely being involved in making a difference for the wellness, betterment, and for the larger union of health and well-being. May I please encourage all of you to be responsible firstly of your own health and own life 
and the life that depends around you. May you be strong. May you take the instructions from your own mind and your own emotions and in your own body and on your own energy entirely in your hands and do what is needed in these challenging times. Thank you. Thank you and may you be strong, be stable, alert, clear in the direction that you are stepping out. May the direction you take be a one step inward one first before you are able to put your hands on the other. If you're willing to help, there's only one that we can all do. And that is that one needs to be in a stable and a balanced platform so that we can help the others out of it.